Welcome to another Subspace Games video tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at the Godot game engine. It's at godotengine.org. It was created by the OCAM Studios at ocamstudio.com. Uh, it's caught my attention recently because it's open source and looks like it's pretty full featured. Uh, I like the ability that uh, we have as members of the community to come in and contribute to the project, be able to use it in any way that we want and to be able to share what we have and uh, create some really uh, high quality content. So the first thing that I did is I jumped in to the documentation on the page and looked at the tutorials that were available. Now these are all text-based and screenshots which is just fine but I tend to learn better when there are videos available and I figure other people probably do too so I decided that I would create some videos based on the tutorials that um, that they put together here. So that's my plan is I'm going to jump through and do some of these tutorials covering some of the ca same content and then as I learn the the platform a little bit better I'll branch out and do some some other things see what kind of fun stuff we can do with this um, with this game engine so after downloading it let's go ahead and launch it and the first thing you'll see is the project manager this allows you to create new projects or load projects that you're working on. So we're going to hit new project, go to browse, let's create a folder and I'll just call this Godot. And within Godot I'm going to create a folder for this project. So we'll do test, click on open, project name, let's do test, not terst, and create. There we go, it's the one down here on the bottom double click on that, get it to launch. Let me resize my window a little bit here. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to see is we're going to see the editor window. And uh, there's a lot of stuff to see here, a lot of things to play around with. I don't know what a lot of it does yet. I'm going to stick to the, the tutorial that's here. And the first thing that they cover in the tutorial is talking about nodes. Now nodes are objects that have names and they have properties. They have the ability to receive callbacks from events. They can be extended so that there's more functions available in a node and other nodes can be added to them so that there's children so we end up with a hierarchy kind of like a tree. Um, now as you can see over here on the right there's a scene tab and the, the thing to know about a scene tab is that it al allows us to go ahead and create a hi hierarchical can't say that, hierarchical structure of nodes. Um, so in a scene there's only going to be one root node and everything else is going to be based off that. Now a scene can be saved to disk and loaded back. Scenes can be instanced and we'll talk more about that later. And a running game means a running scene. Now there can be several scenes in a project but for it to start one of them must be selected to be loaded first. Um, so scenes are going to be kind of like, I guess, levels as you can think of them. And you'll be using one particular scene at a time. So there needs to be that one that, that you start first. Okay, so we've created our project now. And we've got the editor loaded. And so the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and start creating objects. Now, of course, it's pretty standard to do Hello World. So let's go ahead and do that. That's what they did in the tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new node by clicking on that little button that was up in the top. Now there's a bunch of nodes that you can choose from here. So they've made a handy little search box which makes things a lot easier because what we're going to do is add a label. So type in label and we can see that there's one here. You can double click on that. And it's going to create this label up in the upper left hand corner. You can see that our scene now has a label listed in the tree, the hierarchy here. And then down at the bottom we also see that in the inspector we have different um, properties that we can set on our node. So let's change the text on this to hello world. and you'll notice that the label on the screen changes to hello world. Now the other thing to note is that we have these other tabs up at the top for 2D, 3D, script, etc. 
Uh, originally it said 3D, and when we added the label, it switched to 2D, and that's because the 2D is a, or the label is a 2D type, something that's used in a 2D scene. Okay, so now we'll go up here to this button, and this button runs a scene. It's a play button, but it's just specifically for the scene that's being edited, rather than the actual game, which is the one on the left. So we're going to click on this, and oh, okay, scene has never been saved. Save before running. All right, so a little bit of a gotcha there. So we'll go up to scene and we'll save the scene. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the default name here as new scene and hit save. And now that we've saved the scene, we can hit the play button and voila, there we have it, hello world. Okay, pretty simple. Now, the one thing that, that we're missing here is that if you hit the play button for the game, you'll notice that it says no main scene has a has ever been defined. Select one from project settings, settings under the run menu. So if we go to scene, go to project settings, you'll notice that there's a main scene here. So this is the scene that's going to load right off the bat when the game starts. Let's click on that. We'll click on file. Select our new scene. Now you'll notice that there's check marks on the left. These are the items that have changed. They're no longer the default. And we want them to be applied. So we'll hit save. We'll close this. And now, if we come up here and hit the play button, now we're playing the game. It loads the initial scene that we had set, which is just to display Hello World. So that's it in a nutshell. That's the first uh, tutorial. It's just kind of to get you a little bit familiar with uh, the scene and the nodes, how you can put that all in there, how to get it started up. Um, I would imagine as we move forward through the other tutorials, we're going to be building on that, see how we can put other scenes in, other nodes, things that we can add. But I encourage you to go to their website, uh, check out what they have, look through the documentation. I certainly haven't had a chance to do a lot of that yet. I just wanted to get something up and going so that um, people that were interested will be able to find this uh, soon. These videos aren't too hard for me to put together since I'm just going based on their content. So I should be able to do them pretty quickly. I'm hoping to be able to get through all these videos within the next week. So stay tuned. Come back to Subspace Games here on YouTube and watch out for the, the next few videos and look forward to seeing you next time.